This is really our first complete uh, human study and uh, the results really have been quite astounding uh, compared to the previously available treatments. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune form of hair loss where the body attacks the hair follicles and it begins to fall out. We enrolled patients with at least 30% hair loss and we felt that this was uh, a good threshold because we wanted to capture those patients who really are very significantly affected by their hair loss. And we found that nine out of 12 patients had at least 50% regrowth. So the genetic studies that we've been working on in the lab for the past five or so years uh, were really critical in pointing for the first time at a potential pathway to target for alopecia areata. So unexpectedly, the JAK signaling pathway really emerged as uh, a targetable pathway for this disease uh, directly from our genetic studies. In alopecia areata, the hair follicle is quietened by the inflammatory response right around the hair follicle. Uh, and so um, the JAK inhibitors block the ability of the cytokines that are released by the inflamed cells from acting on the hair follicle. So if you cut that off, uh, it enables the hair follicle to waken up uh, and grow. This is the first time we can talk about drugs that you know, really show objective ability to, to treat alopecia areata and lead to regrowth in a large percentage of people. But I think it's very important for people to know that these are not cures. And uh, a lot of work still needs to be done to clarify the safety and, and the best ways to use these drugs. First thing to do really is go back and repeat this now with a placebo group and a larger group of patients. Perhaps treat them for a longer time, even based on this early result. Uh, there's excitement here. I think it's uh, we're on the right track, and it certainly, even if it treats 75% of alopecia patients, that's a great improvement over what's currently available.